Are you experiencing dropped connections, slow speeds, or overall poor performance on your Wi-Fi router? Here's a few simple tips on troubleshooting your Wi-Fi network. The first step to resolving issues with your Wi-Fi network is to check to make sure that each cord is firmly connected to both your modem and router as this is often overlooked. We recommend that you examine your Netgear router LEDs located on the front to ensure that your router has an internet connection from your internet service provider. If you're not certain which LED represents internet, it often looks like this. You may need to reboot your modem or contact your service provider directly if no internet connection is shown. Loss of Wi-Fi connection in only certain areas of your home may be caused by a lack of range from your router. In which case, you may want to consider range extender or power line alternatives for whole home coverage. If possible, move your device closer to your router and connect with your network name and password. If you cannot connect wirelessly or you've forgotten your network password, use an Ethernet cord for a wired connection to your router. Updating your router's firmware to the latest version can often solve network issues and ensure optimum functionality. Once connected to your network, navigate to routerlogin.net in your browser. When prompted, enter the default login of admin for the username and password for the password. From here, you have the ability to update your router's firmware, change your network settings, and much more. To update the firmware to the latest version, select the Advanced tab and then Administration. Click on Router Update and then check to determine if an update is available for your router. If an update is needed, follow the on-screen instructions to install. If you are having issues connecting via Wi-Fi due to losing your network name and password, return to the homepage and select the wireless menu. From here, you can view or change your network settings. Note that routers with multiple bands have the ability to change network names and passwords individually. Wi-Fi operates on multiple channels, so if you're experiencing slow Wi-Fi speeds while multiple devices are connected to the network, changing your wireless channel and mode may improve performance. Now, if a single computer is having issues connecting, make sure your computer and all the drivers are up to date. If you're still experiencing issues, resetting your Netgear router to factory settings may solve your problem. Please note, performing a factory reset will erase all settings you currently have configured on your router. To perform a factory reset, first make sure the router is plugged into power. Then, use a paper clip to hold down the reset button on the back of the router for up to 7 seconds. Once it fully reboots, you can use the pre-configured network name and password printed on the bottom or back of the router to connect your device. Navigate to support.netgear.com to find additional information on troubleshooting your Netgear router.